Hey, Brad from VFM Audio. Digital mixers have the ability to move inputs and outputs to different areas. Today I'm going to show you a couple of tips and some troubleshooting issues on just a small section of the routing. On the troubleshooting side of things, often I get phone calls from people at their gig saying that they have no audio coming into the channel that they have their mic inputted into. First thing I do is to tell them to check to make sure that the input routing is going to the correct channel. To do this, we simply select the channel, we tap over to our config tab, we make sure that our channel is paired with the right input. Secondly, if it's not coming through the master left and right bus, we make sure that it's assigned to the main left and right bus. A couple of tips for routing inputs to certain channels is firstly you might have a guitar or keyboard inputted into the AUX inputs on the back of the desk. These input channels don't have the same processing power as 1 through to 16. Also, they're on a different layer, so you might want to put them on an unused channel in your 1 through to 16 section. So let's say you have an acoustic guitar plugged straight into AUX1 in the back and you want to route it to let's say channel 5, which is my acoustic guitar channel. First, we'd select the channel, then we'd tap over to config, and then we'd go through and select auxiliary one. So now what we're saying is that we want auxiliary one in the back now to be routed to this channel. Now we have the full processing power on our channel strip of the acoustic guitar. So that's just a glimpse of the capabilities of the routing section of the X32. Let us know your tips when it comes to routing. Until next time, I'm still Brad from VFM Audio. Thank mm -hmm. you.